Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. A brisk eight degrees Celsius this morning. All right. Ah, oh, another job to do. So, um, you all know I got a, all my canvases, okay? Now I had some custom made, which are these ones here. And you can see we've got these press studs on them to attach them. This one's actually a side wall. And there's another one down there. We've got to take everything out of this box and clean it. There's another one down there that's the skirt. Okay. And I'm using these press studs. And um, honestly, I don't know what they're doing with press studs today, but they're total rubbish. Um, we've had nothing but problems with them. Every time we set up camp, and pull the camp down it doesn't matter how gentle we are okay this happens all right the press stud actually pulls out um yeah so uh because i was after something for the other for that over there and I'll show you that in a minute what I come up with but basically these don't work all right I've had nothing but problems with them breaking here's another one that's pulled off last time I pulled the camp down all right this is what they're meant to look like this is what they look like when they pull apart that's two um, usually uh, when I pull the camp down I'd be replacing three or four of these um, out in the uh, at the campsite um, so we could set up camp next time without having anything flapping or anything so these just don't work they just don't work uh, I've tried two different brands now um, and they just don't work um, I, I, I'm really annoyed with them really really annoyed with them so now yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that, excuse me. So what I've done here, and we only just finished this. Now, we had this temporary set up with some stick on Velcro and as a temporary measure until I decided what to do with them. And what I've decided to go with is these twist um, studs. Now these are marine grade. Okay, and they're dots, okay. Um, dot probably make what I would think would be the best ones on the market. Okay. And how I get them in place is I put them, I put this in the canvas first, and then I fit these to the canvas and they got a bit of uh, butyl tape and I put a bit of butyl tape on the back of them and then when I press them into the aluminium after cleaning it with uh, alcohol denatured alcohol they just stick and then I just simply put two very short screws in them okay now these are marine grade 316 stainless steel they're very expensive, the tool to put them in, um, well I'll show you that inside, but basically my wife loves it now, it's much better than the, uh, well the Velcro was only a temporary measure anyway. Okay, so that's how we sorted that out, both ends, I had very limited space here. okay and believe it or not 
that little bit of uh, material there keeps uh, most of the dust out. Um, I'd say, you know, 98% of the dust out and 100% of the rain out. Um, and this material is uh, siding that they use on trucks, truck siding. It's very, very thick, very heavy stuff. And yeah, so anyway, they, they, these are made out of the same thing, track siding, honey in blue. That's a very heavy little piece of canvas right there. All right, so these useless things, um, they just keep pulling apart. They just don't work, all right? Let's uh, go inside and have a look. Oh. Let me turn the light on. It's a bit dark in here. Uh, Ziggy, yeah. can you get the tool out? So. So with the dot brand, now there are, you can get really cheap ones. Um, on eBay and on um, AliExpress from China. But basically what they're all missing, you see those indentations there? You see how they're made? All right, now when you put these on, they go on like that. Hang on. They go on like that with the material between. And then you push these little studs over and they disappear flush into those indentations. Okay. Um, so they can't get caught on anything or come undone or, or, or get loosened unless you actually undo them, unbend them. Okay. And the most expensive part of this kit was this, um, what do they call this thing, darling? Punch. Yeah, it's a punch, she says, to the right shape of these. And I actually got this kit with the punch from America, okay? I actually I imported it. And we've got, I don't have enough bits and pieces because I, I, I always take spares with me, hey, always. But I do have a, another uh, packet on the way. But of course, I, don't, I only need to punch, buy the punch once. I don't need to punch to buy it ever again. But that's how they go together. You just simply uh, punch, the, punch it out, put this piece through the canvas, okay? Put this piece on top with the indentations facing towards the canvas. This piece on top, and you can see the indentations really clearly, okay? So you want the um, hollow bits facing out. I can't really see what I'm doing, but the camera's in the way. Film it off to the side for you. There we go. And then you just uh, bend these in place. You, you don't you don't need to hit them. You don't need to do anything with them. You just bend them over and give them the smallest of tap to uh, make sure they're down in the groove. And that's it. And the twist locks are pretty easy. Now they say they're stainless steel, but I have noticed they've got a uh, a brass uh, retainer on the inside there you can see that and if you look very carefully you can see they are dot hang on which way does that go there you go these are dot brand okay d-o-t on the top there all right you can see that clearly i think or i can anyway all right so 
Uh, that's what I've come up with. They're eight millimeter ones. You can get different different thicknesses here. You can the eight mil is is referring to the to the length of the neck where the canvas goes on. You can get four mil, six mil, um, all different sorts for your job. I've gone with eight mil because um, it's just that it's going to fit all my different because the canvas is different thicknesses depending on where it's folded and stitched. Um, so yeah, I've just gone with eight mil for ease. You know, I don't have to hold the canvas on. I just put the canvas on, do that up, and it, it, it's there. So let me know what you think of those. Um, they use them on boats, on boat canvas and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, all I can do is see how they go, people. But those press studs, um, yeah, they should have to pay me to take them all off now because they were just a waste of, um, a wasted resource even making those press studs, I believe. Um, and, and you know they, they were done like we had the canvas professionally done and they were fitted by the canvas shop and they're just rubbish total total rubbish all right that's it i've got to get to work keep safe bye for now